Well, the flu took a back seat this year, but as News 12 New Jersey's Marcy Rubin reports tonight, influenza is making a major comeback, especially here in New Jersey. While we've been keeping a close eye on COVID after a barely there season last year, the flu has snuck back into our lives and here in New Jersey, it's coming back with a vengeance. I think a lot of people kind of became complacent and, you know, started not wearing masks um, out and we, you know, we reopened schools and businesses reopened. According to the CDC, our state is one of seven with what the agency considers high flu activity. Dr. William Down, the emergency department interim chair at Monmouth Medical Center, can confirm that firsthand. We're definitely seeing, uh, you know, uh, more cases of influenza. As of its most recent influenza surveillance report, the New Jersey Department of Health reports just over 6,000 confirmed flu cases this season, seven outbreaks in long-term care facilities. Thankfully, no pediatric deaths, which is another way the government tracks the flu. Doctors do expect it to get worse as we get further into the winter and the traditional flu season. I think the next few weeks are going to be very challenging. I think, um, obviously, with, you know, uh, really, we saw this big spike starting right after um, the Thanksgiving holidays, and it really, you know, we're we're always prepared um, for this type of stuff, but it, it did come on quicker than I think all of us anticipated. As we've reported, flu symptoms are similar to Omicron. You may not know which you have without a test, so doctors say it's important to test, re-up on those protective measures like wearing masks and socially distancing, and get both the COVID vaccine and the flu shot. Marcy Rubin, News 12, New Jersey. Some doctors' offices and hospitals, including Monmouth Medical Center, test for both the flu and COVID with what is called the LIOT test.